we carry stereotype of people. I carry stereotype because when I see a homeless person, I try to avoid looking at him as anybody else. But then I teach myself to look because it's important for my art not to ignore anything because the miserable is as beautiful as the other one. It only will make you narrow-minded and close-minded and you'll not see the greatness of the universe that everything is a great equally. So my name is Ezra Atzmon and I was born in Israel in Kibbutz. The misconception of the, of the busker in the subway, uh, uh, I got, for me, awakens me. Because uh, I don't need people to love me before the, I need, but I don't expect them. But when I play, I know that's it, that's me. If they reject me, they create some anxiety, which translated in the music to emotion. So they create more emotions and, and they serve my purpose because I give them more love. It's the only way that when I'm rejected I give love because otherwise I would just be angry. But with the music it allows because it goes penetrate so deep that suddenly people start crying because they can't stop it. All the logic and all the explanation doesn't help them to feel the pain and to at last let it go. So it's a great satisfaction. So if I had to describe buskers in one word, I would describe them as gutsy artists. Actually, that's the same word I was going to say yeah, too. <laughs> Entertaining? I don't know. Hustlers. Hustlers. <laughs> that's for sure. Hustlers. Hustlers. I, I, I guess I kind of associate busking with panhandling. I mean, I do know you have to have a permit to do it. Prior to the Subway Musicians program, um, musicians were uh, not allowed to perform in the subway system because it contravened TTC bylaws. Supervisory and uh, security personnel were responsible for uh, ensuring that the customers abide by the bylaw, uh, would ask the musicians performing to uh, leave the station. First of all, the attitude of the management of the security and the management of the subway has to change. To be changed. So they love the music and appreciate what the music is doing to the people and that the musicians are not their, um, how do you call it, they, they control them. We actually offer uh, an amazing stage to the musicians with an amazing repertoire of, of music from all over the world and the, the musicians actually represent the diversity of our city. If they recognize that what we do is a great help to the society, they will look into the program to see how to make our life easier and how to expand the program to more musicians. Well, prior to 90, 1993, we were issuing 42 licenses, and based on that, the commission decided to increase the number of licenses from 42 to 75. If I come and I'm not licensed, I should be able to play unless a licensed place person comes. Because if people don't like Broadview people because they don't pay enough, that doesn't mean that I'll not go to Broadview play, play and people will appreciate it and the TTC shouldn't cause me problems for that. 